So the remainder of the cards are placed off to one side. This is the Master Treasure deck. The player that rolled the lowest keep will go first. I'll, go for, I'll pick up my cards. Everybody else will also pick up their cards. And we will begin. So I'll take a look at the cards in my hand and give you a quick rundown of what these cards do a little bit. So the top half is what the card does when it's played from my hand. So the upper half of these cards is the offensive symbol. These are what happens when you play it from your hand. The uh, little sunbursts here are how many power you can gain. And if there's a little chain symbol, you'll be able to play another card this turn. All right, so I'm gonna, first thing you do on your turn is you draw a card. I have no cards currently in my hoard, so I cannot draw anything on turn one, but I will have cards as we play out through the game. Next, I'll move my dragon one location clockwise. So, so far we've gone through draw and move. On the scheme phase, you may play a card for its offense symbol, gain power, bolster a keep, or draw one card from your hoard pile. If the card you play for offense or power has a chain symbol, you can play another card. You can scheme again. So now I can play a card. I can play a card at the top here using the offense symbol, or I can play the card for power and increase my power die. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this card first. This card lets me gain two power, takes me to five, if I can find five on the die. And it has a chain symbol, so I can play another card. I'm gonna play this one. This is strategy. It lets me look at the cards in a, in a pile and rearrange them in any order I wish. The remainder of the cards just, this last card just stays in my hand. So I'm gonna look at this pile. So let's take a look at these cards. I'm gonna take a good look at them and I'm gonna place them in, an or, in the order that I wanna place them in. And place them back in front of that keep. So if you wish to bolster on your turn, you could just take a card from your hand and shuffle it into one of the keep files. If you have a defense only card in your hand, this is a good way to get it out of your hand, avoid the negative victory points, and place a, a sort of a roadblock in, in the way of your opponent. Or you may simply draw a card from your hard pile. So if you end up playing a lot of cards on your turn, this is a great way to replenish your hand. So I'll now take the two cards that I played and I'll place them face down on the bottom of my hard pile. So next turn when I draw, I will draw from these cards. Next up is combat. If there were a hero present at this location, I would have to fight that hero. If there were another dragon there, I could choose to duel that dragon. So finally, after combat, is the raid phase. You will take the top card of the treasure in front of a keep, flip it over, and resolve the symbol on the defense area of the card. This says that the keep becomes fortified. So I will take a fortification token and place it on top of the keep. That must be destroyed before I can destroy the keep. This card will then be placed on the bottom of my hoard pile. On my next turn when I draw, I can just choose to draw the top card, or I can shuffle these cards before drawing. Play now moves to the next player clockwise. All right, so let's fast forward a little bit here. Uh, some of the uh, cards have been looted, and some fortifications have come in, and, then, and some of the heroes have moved around the board a little bit. I'm going to move my dragon to start my turn. I'm, I'm going to shuffle my, my uh, cards, and I'm going to draw one. I'm going to take a look at my cards here. I'm going to play this card, which has the claw. The claw will let me kill a hero if I beat it in combat. I will follow that with the chain symbol by playing this for three power, taking me to six. So next up is combat. First I have the hero to contend with. Plus one, plus two. So I have to beat a five. So I will roll my die 
and I roll a three. I can use power now to increase that to a six in order to win. So I will use three points, taking this to a six. Because I had played a card with the claw, I will vanquish this hero and take him into my horde. He's worth four victory points at the end of the game. Now we have to contend with this other dragon. I can duel this dragon if I wish. If we decide to duel, I must ante a card face down, and the other dragon must also ante a card. The winner takes both cards. In the case of a tie, players just keep their cards. So we're going to go ahead and duel. I'm going to roll my dice first, and I roll a two. The blue dragon rolls a one. Now he may spend power to increase his die, and we may go back and forth doing this until one dragon is the victor. So he's going to go ahead and spend all three points. When you spend all of your power, your die goes to the castle. If you've lost your power die, you may regain it by skipping your entire turn. You'll take the power die back and set it to three power points. So he increased it by three. So he is now at a four. In order for me to win this duel, I would have to spend all three points, which I will also do, taking me to five. I win the duel. I will take this card and the other dragon must move one space clockwise. Alternately, the blue dragon could have simply spent one power to, to move away from me. Now that he is gone, we are on to the raid phase, and I can flip this card over. And oh my, it is the rivalry card. This is the black dragon. He moves to my location and immediately duels me. So this card will go into my pile. It's worth negative two. So now that I'm facing the Black Dragon, I must choose another player. That player will roll the die for the Black Dragon and may spend power to increase that die. Well, I'm going to choose the blue, blue player because I know he has no power die. I'm going to roll mine. I roll a two. And I go, come on, Blue Dragon, I need you to roll a one. I lost. So the Black Dragon wins the duel. I must discard a random card from my hand to the bottom of the Master Treasure deck. So, as I lost this duel against the Black Dragon, I am forced to move one space clockwise. I cannot assault this keep because there are treasure cards here. So my turn is now over. All right, let's move on again to a little bit later in the game, and it's my turn again. So I'm going to go move one space clockwise. I'm going to play this card that lets me move up to two locations. And I'll go right here. I have no, no, there are no defenders, there are no cards to take, so I move right on to assaulting the keep. And all I have to do now is roll a dice and beat a four. So I rolled exactly a four. I will use one power from my power die to make it a five. And I have destroyed this keep and I take it into my score pile. I previously destroyed a fortification and that also went into my score pile. So the peeps are worth four, and fortifications are worth two. All right, so now that we've destroyed a keep, we're going to take the ruin cards. I'm going to draw the top, shuffle that and draw the top card. And I drew Weaken. This removes all fortifications from all locations, and uh, no location may be fortified for the rest of the game. Let's get those off of there so these are gone. All right, so we've moved along a little bit later in the game. Two of the keeps have been destroyed. If three keeps are destroyed, the game is over. If all of the treasure cards have been looted, or all three of the of the heroes have been vanquished and are in score piles, the game will also end. Once the game has reached the end point, each player will have a chance to take another turn. So let's say that the blue player was about to destroy this keep, rolled his dice and destroyed it. Now, each player in turn around the table has a chance to play, but it costs three power to do so. So we will go around the table one more time, back to the blue player. He gets to play last. All right, so here we are at the end of the game. We're going to take our cards, and we're going to count how many of the positive cards we have. One, two, three, four, five. Each card is worth one victory point. 
I have some negative point cards, so two, three, four. So I'm at one point right now. I have four and four is eight, so I'm at nine. Two more is 11. I'm gonna tally the others and determine who's the, who is the victor. And with 14 points, the blue player is the winner.